Hello and welcome to TV30, a production of the Government Information Service and NTN. I am your host, Kendall Eugene, and with me today is the CEO of uh, Export Solution, Ms. Sunita Daniel. Today we are discussing an activity under the Independence Calendar, the uh, Grand St. Lucia Business Expo. Let's welcome Ms. Daniel to the show. Welcome. Thank you, Mr. Eugene. Thank you for being here with us. Let's start with um, some background info on the Expo itself. For so individuals who may not have been privy to what the Business Expo is all about, can you explain to them? Well, we had the inaugural Business Expo last year as mm -hmm. part of the 44th um, anniversary of independence for St. Lucia. Um, what we really wanted to do and what the directive we got from the Office of the Prime Minister was for us to get a space where um, local businesses could come out and showcase what they have on offer, mm -hmm. but also give them a chance to retail their products. So that's basically the um, objective behind the Business Expo that we held last year. All right, so it was basically to um, bring out the businesses that we have, businesses that are clients of um, Export St. Lucia. Export St. Lucia, the Ministry of Commerce, um, all our businesses, the small businesses um, mm -hmm. within St. Lucia. About how many, um, if you remember, uh, were a part of the Expo? Just a small number, about 75, when you look at them in comparison to the number of businesses we have registered in St. Lucia, which are in the thousands. Mm -hmm. um, we were able to accommodate 75 last year, um, but this year we're hoping to do a little more. Okay. Where was it held? It was held um, in Constitution Park under William Peter Boulevard. So those um, two areas were allocated specifically for the Business Expo. Mm -hmm. And the vendors who were in the William Peter Boulevard were um, set up and given a space at the Derrick Walcott Square, which they were also very happy for. From your experience, do you think we have enough information in the, on the local sphere, especially of uh, our local businesses or about the local businesses? I think we've been trying a lot to highlight um, the local businesses in St. Lucia. Mm -hmm. However, there's always room for improvement. There are always areas we can um, do better in. And so I think the business expo allows us to do that. That's one of the avenues through which we can do that. Unfortunately, with the business expo, we're not able to target all businesses. Mm -hmm. And so definitely as we go along, we will be looking at other ways um, to highlight the successes and the businesses of the St. Lucian um, entrepreneurs. Now, with the expo, are we going to use it as a channel to bridge that gap of um, information deficiency, or is it just to promote the businesses? The expo is really to promote um, the businesses. What we're trying to do this year is also to incorporate mm -hmm. um, what you just spoke about. And so there will be some educational activities taking part um, uh, this year, at this year's 45th um, celebration. But the main objective is really for promotion of uh, St. Lucian small businesses. Let the rest of the world know mm -hmm. um, that these businesses exist. Um, quite a few people did not know mm -hmm. about some of them and what they offered. And so um, that is uh, just another way of promoting. Businesses. Now, you, you mentioned that there are in the thousands. So when you said a small number and then you mentioned 75, I thought well, 75 is a big number for me. Right. All right. <laughs> um, do we have a list that probably we can go to and um, pick out the members or the um, businesses available or through export industry, the businesses that are available via directory to the general public? All businesses are supposed to be registered with the Ministry of Commerce. Okay. Um, Export St. Lucia is a statutory agency under the Ministry of Commerce, and so they're the parent ministry. So mm -hmm. all businesses, if anybody is interested in knowing um, who is registered as a business and so on, they could find out from the Ministry of Commerce. How would one become a part of the Expo? What would I have to do? We have put some expressions of interest out. Mm -hmm. They would be um, exhibited both on our website and the Ministry of Commerce's website. And so people can go ahead and look at the requirements um, and fill in the form. So far, we've done that from last week. So far, the expressions have been overwhelming, mm -hmm. um, a little more than we expected, to be honest. Um, so people can go ahead. The deadline for registering to be part of the expo is actually tomorrow, the 31st of um, January. January. Okay. Um, hearing the word expressions, uh, if somebody is a little confused as to what exactly does it mean, what would you um, describe it as? It's just your name, your business name, what mm -hmm. do you do, just basic information so we can um, make a determination as to whether you would be fit um, to be part of the expo this year. Okay. 
if my business is fairly new, for example, maybe six or even um, 12 months old, would I be considered or would I need the further years of experience to be a part of the expo? Not necessarily. So um, there are some businesses under the Youth Economy Agency um, mm -hmm. who we've seen expressions from. Um, and so those businesses we anticipate should have a fairly good chance and they're very young, mm -hmm. under a year. So it's really about whether the business has been registered, what good or service that they're offering, and um, that would help us determine whether um, they would be legible for the expo. The expo last year, it was um, held in the William Peter Boulevard. Mm -hmm. um, we in our second year with it. Were there any challenges that um, you and your team faced in executing last year's um, business expo? We used the William Peter Boulevard and Constitution Park. Mm -hmm. um, so some of the pa challenges that we experienced, um, quite early, a few technical issues, but those were rectified very early. Mm -hmm. um, I think for us is really the space allocation. Um, the number of persons who are interested in participating in the expo far exceeds the amount of the number of businesses that we can take mm -hmm. um, on Constitution Park and the William Peter Boulevard. So for us, that. Um, presented quite a bit of a challenge. Um, the other thing for us too is in terms of our exhibitors being a little more um, friendly towards the, or being more engaging with the visiting public. Mm -hmm. um, these are things that we are working on this year. Um, we are very good manufacturers, but not necessarily the best salespeople. Okay. And to sell your product, and you have to have some level of confidence that what you're offering to the world is actually world class, which it is. But to be able to say it is one of the things we've seen. These were the challenges. Um, have you thought any way of revising or revisiting the issues that you have seen? or? the challenges that you've seen? Um, the space constraint, um, we are going to be accommodating 90 businesses this okay. year, okay. which is a lot more, but which is still a lot lower than the expressions that we're getting. Mm. Um, so that's something we need to look at, how, where we can get a much larger space to host the expo. Mm -hmm. um, but that's, we have made a few changes logistically in terms of how to accommodate more businesses. So it will be a different setup um, in the Boulevard and Constitution Park. In terms of uh, encouraging our businesses to sell and sales, that's some, we've been having some um, training with mm -hmm. them as to how to do that and be able to speak confidently about your product or service. And we've seen um, a lot of examples of that in the last activity that mm -hmm. um, Expo Solution was a part of, um, seeing all the businesses basically being able to promote right. and speak um, about their product yes. and sell it as well. Yes, we oh. were quite pleased to mm -hmm. see at our ARC um, mm -hmm. Business yes. Expo, um, we did make our rounds to ensure that what they were taught um, was being put into practice and we were quite pleased uh, to see them actually selling their product and mm -hmm. speaking quite confidently about the product that they have on offer. Excellent. We'll take a quick break and when we return we will have more with Ms. Sunita Daniel. She is the CEO of Export St. Lucia. Coming soon is the uh, Grand Business Expo under the calendar of events for our 45th celebration of independence. We'll be right back. Welcome back to TV30. Today we are discussing the uh, Sinusha Business Expo under the calendar of events for the 45th celebration of independence. With us, the CEO of Export Solution, Ms. Sunita Daniel. Again, thank you for being our guest on TV30. Thank you. 
we um, left speaking about the, the, the um, improvements of the business uh, and the entrepreneurs, the business owners, and of course, what, what delighted you as a CEO was you seeing the putting in all what they learned, they are now putting it into practice and it's coming out and being all practical mm -hmm. with it. What can I expect from the Business Expo this year as um, somebody visiting for the first time? Okay, um, one of the things we also learned last year was um, from the general public was that they would have preferred the days to be different. Mm -hmm. So we held the business expo on a Thursday and a Friday last year. This year we've changed that up to Friday and Saturday. And so if you're coming to the business expo as a first timer, um, you should expect to see, a, get a lot of excitement. Um, on the venue. I think um, you've visited us before, mm -hmm. Mr. Eugene, and so you would see um, the level of excitement of our manufacturers, of our small businesses, um, the quality of products that you would see. Yeah. This year we are putting in a few new um, aspects to it. So we have some villages that we are incorporating. Um, villages. Villages. So you would now have a health and wellness village where mm -hmm. you can go get a massage, get um, your hair done, get some makeup done. So mm -hmm. a health and wellness. And you'd also see um, quite a bit of health and wellness products and services. We have a services um, aspect. Mm -hmm. So we normally attribute small businesses or exports with just the physical um, product being shipped out of St. Lucia. This year, we're actually looking at services because service is also an export. And that's one of the um, recommendations we got last year is that we should have a booth with um, services where service providers can come in and mm -hmm. you could see what they have on offer. So we have that and then we have the manufacturers who mm -hmm. will be there and the creatives. So there, these are four distinct villages. You can go in and get a different vibe and mm -hmm. a different feeling in each of them. So um, we anticipate that it should be one that is very exciting. Um, we're very proud of our manufacturers. Um, they've actually very good and very good products and very good services. And I've said it before, I've seen many others in many other countries and nothing um, really is preventing St. Lucia from being the number one in terms of the products that we have to offer and mm -hmm. the services that we have to offer. Well, we've heard many um, international agencies mention St. Lucia. We've heard um, the name of St. Lucia Seamoth, for example, right. in a couple of TV series as well, uh, mm -hmm. many times on Netflix. Uh, right. So clearly we are hitting a mark somewhere. That's right. um, what now should the businesses expect from the Expo? The businesses were very happy and we are very thankful to them for trusting us last year with mm -hmm. the Business Expo. And at the end of it, they were all happy in terms of the sales that um, they generated. So I was particularly pleased and, um, to see the enthusiasm from our small businesses who would come back and say, I sold everything. Or by the second day in the morning, Ms. Daniel, I need to go back. I need to get more product because mm -hmm. everything has sold off. So we really want to thank the St. Lucian public themselves for supporting. Because had they not supported, a lot of the retail sales would not have taken place. Mm -hmm. And so the businesses can expect to see a lot more in terms of our um, the patrons to the, the expo. This year, we are bringing in um, buyers, international buyers, okay. to the expo. So we have buyers from as far as Dubai coming in just for the expo, so they could see the products that have that St. Lucia have on offer. We have buyers regionally mm -hmm. who would also be attending the expo. That will give them a chance to come in and see those 90 businesses um, firsthand and be able to sign contracts or be able to um, make some business deals with them. So that's a new thing for us, mm -hmm. this business expo. The last one was shared quite extensively on social media, on our social media. And so when those buyers saw it, they reached out to us and said, we'd like to actually be there physically okay. to see it. And so I can confirm that quite a few of them will be coming from the region and for sure from Dubai. Why is that important to have buyers internationally, regionally as well coming in not just to support, but be a part of the uh, independence experience. It's very important for us because um, when we go out to the markets, there are only a limited number of products that we can actually bring with us mm -hmm. to showcase. And they keep on asking us about more. 
about what else do you have on offer? And so we normally have to send um, brochures and paper and so on. But this time, they could actually come in and have a direct conversation with the manufacturers, mm -hmm. see the people who are actually manufacturing the products, those who are providing the service. They can learn a lot more than we could ever say about the product because it's the people who are making the product or the service who have the passion for it mm -hmm. and who can send the message across much more and much better than we can do. And so for us, it is very important to have them here. We know that having buyers at an expo is also um, critical for its success. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, the aim of the expo is for promotion, not only to the St. Lucian Society, but for export. Right. that these products can then be exported. And so we're looking forward to actually having contracts signed at that expo. Excellent. Now, at the expo, uh, just before the businesses come in, are there any um, f um, particular business that the expo is looking to promoting? For example, agro-processing, female-owned, um, young entrepreneurs? Um, or we're just looking at a holistic approach at the promotion? We are looking at a holistic um, approach to businesses. So mm -hmm. you will see a mix of women-owned, female-owned businesses, but also, very importantly, youth-owned mm -hmm. businesses. And we've been seeing a lot of those from the Youth Economy Agency. Mm -hmm. And also, young men-owned businesses. Um, we know that we have particular issues with young men in mm -hmm. our society currently. And so I think they need to be celebrated when those who do well and who own their own businesses can also be highlighted. So you'll be seeing a bit of those. You'll be seeing also the established manufacturers, mm -hmm. but also up and coming um, manufacturing. So it's a mix of businesses and, um, and persons who will be showcased at the expo. Now you were very excited and your voice changed a little bit when you <laughs> see young men right. um, owning businesses. How important is it for our society to encourage um, young men to at least try to own a piece mm -hmm. of your own. And that's why I'm very excited about the Youth Economy Agency and the kind of support that it gives to our young men. Um, our young people, but also young men. Um, we know that we have a particularly vulnerable um, group of young men in our society. Mm -hmm. And I think that business and owning their own business gives them a sense of pride, gives them a sense of achievement and something to look forward to. So I actually think that St. Lucia is on the right path in terms of encouraging those young men to go into their own businesses and showcase those businesses. Mm -hmm. um, I think we need to go a little bit further in terms of vulnerable young men and allowing them to have that space where they can put their own creativity on display. So it may be in um, the arts, mm -hmm. it may be in business, it may be, but they do have a number of skills that they can um, actually exhibit just like young women do and actually help them channel those energies into something that would actually make money for them. At the last expo, we saw a few young women um, promoting their business. Mm -hmm. um, um, the massage therapists right. were there, the hairdressers were mm -hmm. there, even the cooks, right. um, the chefs mm -hmm. were there. But but um, what are some of the businesses that a young men a part of that you are proud of? They're part of the IT-led um, business. Mm -hmm. And so we see that with those who are a little more educated than the others. So we see them going into the IT field. We see them extensively in the creative industries. A lot of our performers mm -hmm. are some of the young men. But even for those who have not gone through the formal education system, there are those of them who do CMOS products. Mm -hmm. A lot of them who are engaged in CMOS production, and we've seen that in the community of Viewfort, for example, um, quite a bit of young men actually engaged in CMOS production. F a few of them are also engaged in teas mm -hmm. and um, craft. And so these are some of those we particularly want to highlight at the expo so people can see that young men are actually engaged in very productive activity in our society also. Excellent. We'll take a break and when we get back more with Ms. Sunita Daniel, the CEO of Export St. Lucia. We're discussing the uh, St. Lucia Business Expo, part of the 45th Celebration of Independence. Be right back. Suicidal thoughts, like other mental health challenges, can affect anyone. It can be you, your colleague, family member, or neighbor. Everyone has a role to play in preventing suicide. Know the warning signs. If you or someone you know is in crisis or emotional distress, call the suicide hotline at 203. Remember, help is available. 
This is a message from the Employee Assistance Program, Department of the Public Service. Contact us at 468-2269 or 468-2260. Welcome back to TV30, a production of the Government Information Service and NTN. I am your host, Kendall Eugene, and with me, my guest, Ms. Sunita Daniel, the CEO of Export St. Lucia, discussing the St. Lucia Business Expo. And if you were there last year, I'm sure that some of you all did not just attend to enjoy the uh, services of the businesses that were present, but some of the performances that were live on stage. Will we be seeing this again this year, or is that scrapped? Definitely, and we'll also be seeing an umped up um, set of, of entertainment taking mm -hmm. place. So on the Friday evening, for example, we have confirmed um, kind of a Calypso jam mm -hmm. um, on Friday afternoon. So you should be able to see some the best Calypsos um, here, the best Calypsos from 1979 to 1999. Hey, I'm in a gold... Excellent. Um, whatever <laughs> was the best song, it may not necessarily have been Calypso, but mm -hmm. the song for each year, which would have been what everybody was raving about in that year, you'd see a live performance of those, maybe from those who originally sang it or from the band. On the Saturday mm -hmm. afternoon, um, we encourage everybody to come down to town on Saturday afternoon, and we will have a jam band um, also um, mm -hmm. performing. But we also have artists, other artists. So we have reggae artists come in. I, we will say a little later who those are. Mm -hmm. uh, reggae artists, we have soccer artists, and definitely what is authentically St. Lucia and the Denry segment artists will also be on stage. We should be seeing a bit of a fashion, because what's Export, export St. Lucia without a bit of Export the Runway in mm -hmm. there? So you should be seeing a little bit of fashion, and actually a very good um, show for the entire family to enjoy from the Saturday afternoon. All right, so it's a cocktail of entertainment and business. That's in right. Lucia Business Expo. That's nice. Right. Um, what time um, on both days is it supposed to be? So Friday the 16th, um, we begin at 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. until 7 p.m. So we have the entire day. And then on Saturday, we begin at 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Okay. And shop. Shop. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's just go back a little bit. Um, I want to find out if, let's say, for example, I am a business owner, mm -hmm. small business owner, what would my entry requirements be? Must my products be export ready, um, the standards, etc.? What should I look out for if I'm going to be a part of the business expo? Well, definitely, you must have um, some level of standard because we are encouraging um, our businesses to ensure that the products that they offer to the public for mm -hmm. consumption is of standard. So they must have a Ministry of Health certificate for sure. Okay. Um, you, must have, you must have some basic standards in place. Um, so we're not asking you to have all the great HACCP and so on, but you must have some basic standards. The good thing about it is that we know all of those businesses. Mm -hmm. um, we normally do assessments and with our partners, the SLBS we, and the Ministry of Commerce, we we know those businesses that have good products on offer. So those are the ones who will be um, this year eligible for coming and showcase their product. Um, you must also have a business registration. So basic things, mm -hmm. because we preach those things. So we try as much as possible to ensure that a business is registered um, as a business of St. Lucia. Now, we're talking businesses, and you've mentioned quite a bit of the export factor. How many of our businesses are enjoying their products being exported out of St. Lucia? And um, where are some of the territories that mm -hmm. um, we've probably landed? Quite a number of our businesses um, export their products. And mm -hmm. we're so happy that Export St. Lucia has actually raised the profile for those businesses. So currently, a lot, and many people may have seen it coming out, um, Expo Dubai would have given us that opportunity to um, showcase our businesses in the UAE. Mm -hmm. And so uh, quite a few of our businesses are currently doing business in Dubai. Um, we're trying to expand into Abu Dhabi. Mm -hmm. um, quite recently in December, we had exports going to New Zealand. So we've never done those ourselves on a large scale and we're looking at doing that mm -hmm. also. Um, currently, some of them pre the Russia-Ukraine war, um, barren products used to go to Russia. And so these are some of the things, the areas that they go. We go to the traditional places all the time. So mm -hmm. the United States, Canada, the region, um, the OECS, CARICOM. Mm -hmm. 
So these are the normal ones. We're really looking at expanding into the other parts of Europe um, to get our products out there. Excellent. Now, for future goals and objectives, um, what are some of the uh, future goals that the organization would like to attain moving forward? For us, it is really to get a lot more businesses um, export ready. Um, <clears throat> we've seen quite great um, products at the expos, mm -hmm. and some of them are probably missing just a bit of labeling um, assistance, because if you're going to go into the UAE, your product must be labeled in such a way that people can read okay. what you have. And um, we've, we've been working to do French labeling, um, also getting into the Spanish market. So that's something we're going to pay attention to. But also the packaging, which mm. we're making quite a bit of um, progress on. And so we should have an announcement next week on some major packaging differences in our products that you normally purchase um, at the supermarkets. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at doing those. We also want to expand even further more than the markets but also the product offering offerings mm -hmm. that we have so for example our teas are very highly sought after mm -hmm. and i think for us one of the main things is for us to encourage um processing of our products uh, one of the things we don't like doing here is at export saint lucia is to export our raw product to another country and then re-import the final product to our country mm -hmm. so for example why are we exporting cocoa beans and then importing the same chocolate that was made from the cocoa beans back in St. Yeah, Lucia. Lucia right. So these are some of the things we are working with other partner agencies to mm -hmm. ensure that um, value is added. And so we can export a final product. Um, that's one of the things, for example, the Honorable Prime Minister is very concerned about and he has really encouraged us to do is CMOS, mm -hmm. to make sure that the CMOS products are actually brought to the final end in St. Lucia and we don't have to import CMOS creams from overseas when they are buying our CMOS to make the to cream. Make it. Right. All right. Now, let's go back with the business expo. Um, earlier, you mentioned that um, some of the uh, clients who were present and participated in last year's expo, um, they were pleased to announce that they had sold out all mm -hmm. of their products. What were other some of the achievements that were notable for you at the business expo? For us, I think it's the growing confidence we're seeing in our exporters. Um, at the very beginning, they were a little shy because they're producers of mm -hmm. the product, m most of them. Now we're seeing them speaking a lot more assertively about their products and selling their products. I'm very proud to see that. I think the other thing for us um, and our clients is the ability that they have to negotiate right on the spot. Mm -hmm. So we did have clients who negotiated with persons, hotels who came in, and they were able to negotiate some level of um, products going into the hotel. Mm -hmm. So okay. for us, I think the biggest thing um, as an agency that we're seeing is the growing confidence of our entrepreneurs acting as business people. And we're very proud of that. We're very happy to see that they're moving along that way. I mean, many people would have said before that farmers are producers mm -hmm. and farmers are not supposed to be doing the marketing. What you're seeing is that farmers are becoming very good at doing that kind of thing. And we will have those agricultural um, businesses also exhibited at the Business Expo. Excellent. Let them know again um, when the Business Expo will be held and from what time the Business Expo would be on February 16th and 17th, on the 16th from 10 a.m. to mm -hmm. 7 p.m., and on the 17th from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. And it will be? At the William Peter Boulevard and Con Constitution Park. All right. Well, Ms. Daniel, I want to say thank you for being our guest there on TV30, wishing you all the success with the Solution Business Expo on the two days, all part of our 45th anniversary of independent celebrations. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. Right. Folks, this has been TV30, a production of the Government Information Service and NTN. Thank you for viewing. Have a good day.